Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. My daughter Emily tells me that she has to put me in speed zone, speed form, speed whatever. She speeds me up because she says I talk too slow. I think I talk a nice speed. I don't think I rattle too fast. Um, Jim was saying that I would come up with a subject. I guess I just did. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's a talking too slow. When I was at the school, we had a speech pathologist that would talk so fast. And I'm thinking, my goodness, I can't understand what she's saying. How do these kids understand her? I hope she slows it way down. And then when they're talking, they can sit there, they ask a question, or they, or no, they don't ask a question. They'll say, can you say, and whatever word they're trying to get them to say, say like it was chicken. We'll use that one as an example, because I did use that as a word that I wanted a little boy to say one time. But you say you wanted him to say chicken. She would wait and wait and wait. And they're, they're so good at waiting, whereas we feel like the space should be filled in where we're, not used to having dead silence for so long, but she did, she talked really fast. Now the chicken thing, I can tell you that too. I may have told you before, I don't know. There was a little boy that I was personal aide to um, many years back, and he, he was autistic, and he did not speak at all. And he was, he was very bright. I did teach him some signing and he was, he was smart enough to where he could catch on to the signing really easy. And I used to repeat what the teacher was saying. And I said to him one day, I says, you know, you're going to one of these days tell me to be quiet because I was talking constantly and at this little guy, the teacher would say something and I would reinforce what the teacher was saying. I would be just chattering all the time. Well, one day he looked at me, he was watching my mouth and he was, he, like he always did, he was real attentive to my, to my lips moving. He would watch and watch and watch. And the, and first thing you know, he, he, he kind of just stopped for a second. The teacher stopped and happened to look up. And just at that moment, he went like this to me. <laughs> and I says, oh my goodness, he just told me to be quiet. And it was shortly after that that he started speaking himself. And the word that I wanted him to say was chicken. He used to hand me the little picture cards. We used picture cards with the kids that could not speak so that they could at least um, communicate. communicate with us. Yeah, so they could talk. So we knew what they were saying. And it was using, we used to use them mainly at mealtime or... Um, when they were coloring, if they wanted a special crayon, they would show us the card of the color that they wanted, and we used to get them the crayon or the marker, whichever we were using. And um, he wanted chicken, and when he would give me the card, I'd say, can you say chicken? And he went, heh heh, I'm kind of not real clear. And I said, no, say chicken. And so he said it again, kind of sloppy. And I said, no, you can say it better than that. And he goes, chicken. And I go, great, that's, that was perfect. So I gave him, so he got his chicken. But um, it was funny because you'd want them to speak a little clearer. And he was, he was actually um, mouthing off at me, I think, <laughs> with, mm -hmm. his, with the card and that. Well, that's what I was going to say there. Then I also wanted to say, now I watched Granny B, and when I was reading her comment, I don't even remember what her comment was, but I was reading her comment, and I said to my husband, I said, you know, Granny B reminds me of my mom. And it's funny because Granny B's na real name, well, at least her husband calls her, Berta. And my mother's name was Bertha. And I can imagine somebody may have called Berta Bert at one time because I know my Aunt Rosemary, which is out there, hello Aunt Rosemary, who called my mother Bert. And I think she was the only one that got away with that because my mother really was insistent on being called her real name. And just like um, my mom's sister's, other sister's name was Francella. And she wanted to be called Francella, but we never knew that because we used to always call her Aunt Fran. 
and, or Aunt Frances, we would refer to her, and my mother would call her Fran, and she was the only one that got away with that. So it's funny how um, you can you can get away with calling somebody if you're a brother or sister member. or family member. Yeah. Now, like in my family, my uh, I didn't really have a nickname, but my brother, my sisters used to call me Gary Mace. And the reason they called me that was they were reversing my letters. Or they'd call me M.G. And when I was at school, they'd go, oh, M.G. Meaning, you know what it means. And I'd say, yes, what would you like? <laughs> because my initials were M.G. And, uh, <laughs> they, and so they really would stop, almost stop saying it. And then when they would say it, they'd realize they're saying my, my initials. And it was kind of a fun thing. I am running out of stuff to say. I know there was a couple of you, too, that said that I just start to get good, and then I I say goodbye. Well, I guess it's time. The clock has bonged. I've been on long enough. It, really, 15 minutes have gone by fast. I don't think this is 15 minutes long because I was debating what I was going to talk about, and I know some time ticked away. So, um, But I've run out of stuff to say, so I will have to go. I'm sorry. I well, love talking to you. What? She'll have more tomorrow. I will have something <laughs> tomorrow. I don't know what, but I'll have more tomorrow. So until then, you take care and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.